Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 18 947. This build is rather special as it's not intended for public release. This is a leaked internal build from the RS underscore Xbox branch, which actually doesn't mean anything. The branch name is irrelevant for this build video. Um, but what you need to know is that this is an internal build that was intended for internal use and development purposes, which means it has features in it that aren't intended for the public to see yet. Uh, some features of which may not be here for months. Uh, and so we're going to start taking a look at a couple of those new changes here today. The first of which is with the start menu. As it turns out, Microsoft is building an entire new start menu experience for Windows. Now, I know for a fact that this is the start menu experience you can expect to see on Windows Lite, which is a new uh, operating system Microsoft is building, uh, but it looks like they're working on it for Windows 10 desktop as well and this is the layout. So judging by the hamburger menu Microsoft is going to roll this out to insiders uh, as an option. Uh, so you can see here it's called start insiders but you can revert to the classic menu if you prefer that uh, but for today we're going to be taking a look at the new start menu experience because well it's new and uh, as of right now it's very basic um, it's not finished of course the UI is very rudimentary and its feature set is very basic like you can right click on some icons and that's it you can scroll through it and you can launch apps that's basically all it does right now but like I said, it is early, so um, this is an early look at this new start menu experience. So the biggest change to this start menu is live tiles are no longer present. Uh, these are now just app icons, just like you find on Android and iOS. And I think that's a deliberate choice. Uh, app icons are simpler and it's less work on developers having to support something like a live tile. So now you can just have an app icon and when Microsoft is done redesigning all the icons. This menu will look a little bit better. As you can see, it's a sort of mix between the new sort of Office Fluent design icons and the old MDL2 and even Windows 7 Vista era icons if you scroll down further. It's a mishmash of all kinds of icons from different eras at the moment, but once Microsoft is done redesigning all the icons, it should look a little bit more coherent. Um, but yeah, so if we click on an app icon here, it will just simply launch that app, just like you would expect it to do. If we right click on something here, we get um, a few options such as unpin from the taskbar and app settings. If there's something here that isn't pinned already, we can right click and we'll have the option to pin to the taskbar as well as uninstall if it's an uninstallable app. It also has a search bar at the top here, which allows you to search your apps and the web. So if I search for say weather, I will get the option to launch weather or as you saw there, I am able to do web searches as well. Now I am interested in how this is listing the apps here. It doesn't seem to be in alphabetical order. Um, there's a suggested area up here which gives you contextual apps. I don't think it's working properly yet. Um, but yeah, this should in theory provide contextually uh, apps that it thinks you want to open based on other apps that are already open or based on your timeline activity and other stuff like that. And then down here, is supposed to be just all the apps you've got installed which it appears to be but it's really weirdly organized so you can see here that it's not alphabetical there's edge at the top here then there's mail then there's calendar um photos you know it's it would be abc but it's not it's m m c p m so i don't understand what uh, the uh, the method is behind this perhaps it's most used i don't know like i said this is a very early version of the start menu here uh, so anything could goes it might even be entirely broken which i expect it is now for those wondering what this looks like in tablet mode we can enable that for you through settings now i would normally do it through the action center but in this build they appear to be entirely broken so uh, that doesn't work but we can do it through settings here if we go into tablet mode and set this to use tablet mode uh, and always switch if we sign out now and sign back in it should boot up with the tablet mode enabled now i don't think this is the actual tablet mode microsoft is building out here i think this is just scaling poorly because um it's not done uh, but as you can see here this is what it looks like and uh you know <laughs> it it works to a degree but like i said i don't think this is the final ui i think this is just stretching because that's what it expects to see here but that's what that looks like with um tablet mode enabled you will notice i just literally just noticed it the app icons actually have an animation when you click on them so if i click on one note here you'll see it clicks in before it opens uh, so that's a quick look at the new start experience now this is unfinished like i said so do not be judging it on what it looks like because you know its ui will likely change between now and its official release uh, but 
There it is, there's an early look at a new start menu experience. It's nice to see Microsoft is building a new start menu experience. So the other big change in this build is with the emoji picker, believe it or not. If we open it up here, you'll see that it now supports nothing because it's not, it crashed. There we go. So the emoji picker in this build supports a new UI, which it looks kind of nice, but it also supports GIFs now. So you can insert GIFs, moving images, if that's something you like. And also it has trends, and apparently the biggest trend right now is National Tequila Day. So that's uh, quite exciting. Uh, then we've got emojis here. We've got your cow emojis, and you've got your symbols. We have your usual emojis here. We have people and stuff. But if we go back, it likes to jump around this window. We can get your cow emojis here. Then there's categorized into classic, happy greetings, etc., etc. But then we also have symbols and we have general punctuation, currency, and so on and so forth. So that's a, a minor update to the new emoji UI, which, you know, is kind of nice. Now, I know this many of you will ask. Yes, the start menu also supports dark mode, but no, it's not finished. So it looks kind of broken in this current state. Uh, so there you have it guys, that's a quick look at this internal build of Windows 10. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.